Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Lord of the Rings Online. I'm Dre Gottams, we're Nillin. Picking up where we left off and uh, talking to Kalanglad here. Need? I'd hoped we would learn something Narchwil <laughs> that might aid us in finding it before the Angmarim, but that hope, like so many others, has been dashed. We have been delayed by Mordrimbor and must now follow Armathiel's forces eastward, where I'd hoped to stay before them. No matter. There are many tall hills between here and the wilderness of the Trollshaws, and if we must follow, we will do so knowing what to expect. You should leave even them heading east and pass through the fields of Fornost. Short distance northeast of Trestlebridge stands the great hill of Amunrith. Stand at its peak and look eastward. If you see the Angmarim ahead of you, continue to Amansul, which is called Weathertop, by many in the Lone Lands, and do the same. Look eastward from its summit. If you see the Angmarim. Okay. I don't know if we could just skip ahead and go straight to Weathertop, but we'll go to Amad Wraith first. I'm worried that the Angmarim may attack villages along the way. By scouting their position from the heights, you will be able to learn of their progress. Follow them wherever they are headed. So the little red wording there means we have to actually do that as an action. Okay. So. Let's see. In the North Downs. Okay. What's the fastest way we can get to Trestlebridge? I wonder if we can... I think we could go from... Estelden over to Amon Wraith. I don't know if it's swift travel. I feel like they make you do that whole travel... Uh, and I'm pretty sure this doesn't give us swift travel. That'd be great, though. Me saying that I'm pretty sure means that probably will actually give us swift Greetings. travel. Huh? Even the North Downs. No. But we can go to Estelin. Let's do that swift travel first. We'll take the horse instead of the muster. Leave the muster for another day. So welcome back, welcome back. I do like the fact that we are leaving Lake Evendim. And heading back to the Trollshaw, so... If we're that close to Rivendell, maybe we will pop in over there as well. But for now, it looks like we're going to be hounding their steps and kind of watching their progress to the Trollshaws. I feel like we should just be going straight there to cut them off. But I guess if this was really happening, we don't have those kind of flying teleportation skills that the game has given us, so travel seems a lot faster than it would be if uh, we were actually trying to track those guys. Ooh, actually, just just realized we leveled up last episode, and it was for an odd level, so we have a trait point. See, we're in red line right now. There's nothing too important as far as, like, tough decisions. I think right now we're just always filling up this light type damage until we're at max. So, let's go ahead and apply that. Blue line might be a little more different. Well, we, yeah, we're full blue over here. I wonder if there's something that would get Gambit Builder damage. That could be something good for us if we're going to like spill off over into another tier. Bleed damage, eh. And that ranged, no. We might have to boost basic strikes eventually. But for now, let's just go full blue and do what we need to do. See, crit defense is nice. Gains further bonuses to your ratings from Dance and War Conviction. We, like, never get that in yet. We don't do Impressive Flourish yet. Gain bonuses to block chance when using Persevere Gambits. We do use Persevere Gambits, so... Ooh, here we go. This is actually pretty good. Skills that drain enemy morale and heal the warden are more potent. Yeah, let's do that. What's this? Sac sacrifice evade to boost block and parry ratings. This is actually not bad too because it's just always going to help us out. But let's get the more morale tap. Okay. Oh, so got that. Let's Welcome see, do we have swift travel to Amon Wraith? We do not have swift travel. 
question is, that's a long ride. We could switch travel to Bree, maybe? Then go to Trestle Bridge. And then Trestle Bridge? That's very convoluted, I feel like. It just might save us time, though. So let's try to go to Bree. Then let's swift travel to Trestle Bridge. And then hopefully that ride, even if it's not swift travel, it'll still probably be faster than our ride straight from here. Although we're... Okay, I was going to say, <laughs> it's taken us a long way from there. We almost did the whole ride. We might have just have ridden straight there. So there we go. Quick little glimpse of Bree. How can I be of service? Nice, but we're actually gonna leave. And we'll go. Oh my God, Trestle Bridge is not even swift travel either. Wow. <laughs> I guess we boofed that one. How is this not swift travel from here? Okay, let's go back. Alright, psych. Well, there you guys have it. At least now we know that that's not a swift travel. You would think that they would have a swift travel. Okay, um... Yeah, we got a ride in there. Just so we can <laughs> let them take us all the way over there. Because I don't want to do that manually ourselves. Greetings. Alright. Take us. Give us your fastest steed. Take us to Amon Wraith. At least it won't be too bad getting to Weathertop. Won't be great either. There's the fields of Fornost. Because Fornost is an important part in the old histories. Not in like the third age, I don't think, but maybe in like the second age, it was important. Dealing with uh, some of the ancient kings of men and the witch king, those sort of fights. We're not going to be going there. Nighttime in the North Downs. Nice to be back in this area. Compared to uh, Lake Evendim, though, it does it's not as artistically busy. You know, not saying it's either you know bad or good for Lake Evendim. I mean, Lake Evendim is pretty, but there's a lot to look at here. It's uh, a little less. I guess it's because it's more open space, more widely kind of like drawn out and stuff. So. That's just one way that we can uh, see a little more like open graze land. I like it. I like it. It's a good setting for when... Because this was like one of like the earlier zones. So I think as we get to further zones in the game, then it becomes more and more like busy. And oh my god, there's super epic stuff going on. And now it's kind of just peaceful cool with that moon in, in the backdrop. Let's check our progress here. So, okay, actually that wasn't too bad. It went a little bit faster than, than I realized it would. It's a pretty fast horse. Oh, it would have been even faster if we had used... I think we have a some um, horse speed stuff that works even for this start or do we yeah there it is mount speed oh man we, we could have been really humming along if I'd use that well if we have to do any more horse rides then we'll activate it Should be pretty close now. Okay, it's got to be that lookout spot, right? All right, there we are. It's 
gotta be up here, right? Yep, I'm on, right? I'm not sure if we have to actually stand on the right place or if it just works that we're here. So let's look. Far to the east, a cloud of dust marks the passage of the Enmerim. Oh, okay, this way. Alright, well, yeah, so that means then we have to go to Weathertop, right? Summit upon Weathertop. We can do that easily. Let's go ahead and... Where are we? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Let's see if by flying <laughs> to Weathertop we will catch them up and be in front of them. The only problem with this one is we do have a little bit of a ride here as well. Can we swift travel to the Forsaken Inn, maybe? I think the Forsaken Inn, yeah, that's a lot closer than we are now. But I feel like we don't have fast travel Greetings. to the Forsaken Inn. Alright, I guess we're going to hoof it. We're gonna hoof it. Ooh, some wargs. And we, we need 98 wargs to go to do that deed, whatever that was. I think this is just for the Lone Land wargs, right? Oh no, that's... yeah. I guess we don't have a, a racial trait for that. For wargs. Where, 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 where would it be? Hobbit resilience. Stoop for a stone. 5% more damage. Club? Ooh. Okay, there's Weathertop. Oh, we, we gotta go all the way to the top of Weathertop. Now, I think there... Memory serves me, there's like a little... Kind of not... Not really secret passage, but a back way that'll let us kind of cut through instead of winding all the way around, all the way around. So let's try to find that. I think it's on the back side this way. I just realized, like, oh no, we're going to have to <laughs> go all the way around like a big ring. Around the up and up and up. Yeah. Oh, we'll, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll find that secret ramp or that little back alleyway. And make it quick there. From there, I'm not sure what we'll have to do. Ooh, okay. That's pretty cool. Th this is one element that's a lot cooler in, like, the game than the movie. What is this guy doing? He chilling over here, over here with a man bun? Half orc brute. Ugly. And not to say that they did it poorly in the movie, um, but you know, they can only make things so big or do things with special effects. Here, it's like you can really give it the, I guess, uh, height and awe that it probably had. So it's kind of cool. I, I like this weather talk. Make it around here. Four. And I know there's a ranger that has his old little place there. And it might be okay. No, yeah, that's the normal way to ride up. I think if we go this way, we're gonna find the path. I hope. Or we might even have to go up a little bit, go around, and then halfway through, then we'll find the path. Let's go this way first, see what happens. Oh, this might... Okay, I think we found it. This might be it. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> Found the shortcut. I think. Okay. Oof, I got scared for a second. I was like, wait, you know what? Wait a minute. Maybe we can't do it. Oh my gosh, no. Ooh. Ooh, I thought we were about to fall. Oh my god, I thought we were about to fall. Okay, we're on weather top. I don't know which direction. Oh, I, I guess we should look kind of east-ish. Let's take a gander. Far to the east, the company of Engmarim crosses the last bridge. These guys are moving. Okay, who's Alphek? Looking eastward from the summit of Weathertop, you saw a company of Engmarim crossing the last bridge into the Troll Shawls. You followed a company eastward. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You should travel to the last bridge. Okay, travel to the last bridge. So... That's fine, we can at least muster back there. And then we'll be right next to the last bridge, so that works. My question is, who's the scout or guy at the last bridge? Like, he didn't stop him? He just let him pass? Did he at least make them pay a toll? I mean, if, if there's a toll for passing into Sherwood Forest, then the, there, there's got to be a toll for passing into the Troll Shaws. Okay, I'll find the road. actually a big little region too from here all the way over there that's a lot it's actually a lot of space to cover well not looking good for us so far the Marthiel's forces are making some pretty good time covering a lot of ground and we're playing catch up. But maybe we can start attacking some of their like lingering slow people in the back. Harassing them there and then uh, disrupting their, their caravan a bit. Fank, where are you at? You better be hiding somewhere with a good man vantage point. If you're just standing out in like the middle of the road and you didn't stop him, then we're gonna have a problem. Okay. What? They're just chilling? Oh my gosh! What kind of guards are you guys? You are seeking the Engmarim that passed this way not too long ago. I saw them coming from a great distance and managed to hide myself before they arrived. I feared I would be found, for at the head of their number marched a man of great evil, a black Numenorian, if I do not miss my guess. It seemed to me that he stared right at my hiding place, but at that, just at that moment, he was interrupted by some thought that caused him to turn his gaze off into the distance to the west. I know not what it was, but he shortly resumed his march and the company passed into the east. Your face tells me that you have had dealings with this man, and the memory is full of sorrow. From what I overheard, it seemed their course lay to the south among the cheerless lands of Talbruinen. 
My sister Candeleth has a camp in Talbruinen. To reach it, follow the road east of here until you are nearly within sight of, of the Bruinen, and you will come to a dirt path that winds southward with the Bruinen on your left and a tall rock face on your right. Stay on the path, even as it crosses the streams and winds through the underbrush. You will surely come across one of Candelith's scouts who can guide you to our camp. Tell Candelith of the young women that have come to the lands of, on, of her watch. Tell her as well to be wary. I fear to think what Aaron could have brought this black Numenorian so near Imlidris. But you guys need to protect them. Man, these elves are kind of cool though. Elves look pretty tight. Alright. We're riding through the troll shop now. We're seeing a lot of different places uh, from our earlier playthroughs. And this being a wood, is it is a lot more uh, wooded and thickly populated as far as trees and foliage and scenery than North Downs. North Downs was pretty open and sparse. Sparse of monsters. Alright, I think this road's kind of hard to keep track of. I think we're on the road, though. But I feel like it would be easy to lose this road. Alright, so we're going to keep going east until we get to the river, which is the Bruinen. And I remember there being some other elves on this road, so... We'll likely come across uh, some scout or person that can kind of lead us, escort us, point us in the right direction. Let's see how close we're getting. Ooh. Oh, actually, okay. You guys are probably yelling at me. There we go. Let's speed this up. Let's hit the Nas. We're on that fast and furious, like, jaw rule tip. There we go. This is better. That's some faster pace. That's what I'm talking about. I'm never going to talk poorly about getting these items for our Hobbit gifts again. Before I was like, oh man, I don't want this Hobbit gift. This one's kind of lame. The mount speed. But now it's like pretty great. What's this? Oh, okay. There's some of the uh, elves people talking about, but it looks like they don't have anything to do with the quest. They won't give us any assistance. Ooh, there's a quest available. Oh, it's level 36. No, we don't want no 36. Oh, and, the, and there be trolls in the troll shaws. They're trying to recommend a level 36 quest to us. How dare they. Okay, we gotta be getting pretty close to the river. I think it's kind of through this little bend and then I'll be popping out on, on, on the other side there. I ho at least I hope. Uh oh, this is taking us away. Wait. Okay. So we gotta go down there. We can cut through here. Unless there's a big rock <laughs> in our way. We'll just go this way. It's not a perfect path direction, but this will have to do. Oh gosh. Let's not break no, let's not break a leg. Aw. Yeah. Oh. 
That's pretty cool. Alright. The Ford of Bruinen. So we have to go... Can we even go... Oh, okay, I was going to say, wait a minute. So we gotta go down here, taking a swim. Oh, what's over there? Okay. Doesn't look like we're going to find anything much higher than level 40 around here. the right way to go. So it probably oh, would have been better if we had cut down there, huh? Okay, let's see. If, can we get over to this side? There we go. If we can at least ride on this side, then that'll be faster for us. There we go. Riding is better than swimming. Especially when you have the 20% ride boost. Alright. I think we're getting a little close to it now. We're gonna have to cross back to the other side pretty soon. I'm not sh sure what we're looking for. Oh, just for her camper sort of outcrop of building, I'm s assuming, since there's a stable. Oh, snap, they might be up there. Oh, no. How do we get there? Let's see, do we want to... It looks like that's a river, so we probably go. got to go, go there. Let's hope. Oh, man. Ooh, what's this? Whatever house stood across the river, it fell into ruin some time ago. A oh, house? Is that your job? You're just out there, kind of chilling, looking at a old ransacked house. What the hell is that? Whoa, 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 what's going on? What's that noise? Is it these frogs? That sounds really cool. Who's making that noise? Maybe they're magical frogs. Okay. Probably not magical. Those guys would be easy for us now. They'd be easy pickings. I think we are going to eventually find this place. <laughs> we can do it. Ooh, yes, yes. Give us a stable. We have not been here before. Labora Relen. Labora Relen. The woods are darker of late. Something is amiss um, along the loud water. Okay, yeah. The wilds of Tal Bruinen. Mm, get, get some more honesty for this. Honesty is not that great. If being completely honest. Nice. Found her sister. How can I be of service? You bring warning from my sister that the Engmarim have come to Tal Bruinen? Her warning is welcome, but my scouts have already encountered the enemy. Do you know why they have come to this place? Can you tell me what brings them to these woods so far from their evil homeland? Mind my words, traveler. I can indeed. But I think we're going to go ahead and leave that for another time. No, we, had a, we had a good amount of traveling this episode. I think we'll kind of let that be the travel episode. Now that we're here, we're, we're going to rest up, 
gather our thoughts, sharpen our spears and sticks, and uh, get ready, I guess, to harry the enemy. Okay, until uh, next time, as always, I have been Dre Gottams, and uh, you guys have been great. Take care.